In this video, I'm going to talk about area versus point type in Adobe Illustrator, which is my favorite design program. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I have a free Adobe Illustrator course link in the description of this video if you want to check that out. So you may not have ever even heard of area versus point type, but you might know what I'm talking about if I said it's this blue button right here versus the white button. So you've probably seen both of these and you've probably wondered kind of what the difference is or what they are. I actually get confused in my head which one is area and which one is point. And the key is that it doesn't really matter what the names are. It just matters that you remember what you need in certain cases. So you get to each of these by making your text box in a different way. So when we click on the text tool, you have two options. You can just click anywhere and it will make a text box. And then if you paste something that's long in it, it will just make the text box longer for as long as that text is. So as you can see, this one is a little bit longer than our page. This one is called point type. I kind of like to remember it by just you click a point and then you can type whatever you want. And it's just going to keep going. If you press enter, it will bring you to another line. But if you don't press enter, it's just going to keep making that text box bigger. And if we were to add to this, it's going to continue to make that text box bigger. It's not going to automatically put any line breaks in there. Now the other option is area type. And so instead of just clicking anywhere, you want to draw out your text box. So we're gonna draw ours to the width of this card. And this is something that I do so often as an imitation designer, because I never ever want my text to go off the edges of the card like it does with the point type. And as you can see, it's gonna fill that up with Florum Ipsum just to kind of show you what that space is going to look like. So I will copy this in here. And as you can see, it's automatically adding some of those line breaks in here. Now, if I change the size of my area text box, it's going to fill the text in to fit into the new size that I give it by adding those line breaks. It's not making the text smaller or anything. It's just adding those line breaks. Same as if I were to make it bigger, it's just gonna get rid of those line breaks. If I were to do that with point type, then it's actually going to make the entire text within the box smaller as well. Now you can actually switch your boxes after you've drawn them from area to point by just double clicking on the white or blue circle there. And then now that we've made an area text box, you can see it's going to respond differently. So if we resize it, it's going to act like an area text box. Now, if we want to change from area to point, we will just do the same thing over here. And you see the text box got smaller. Point type basically is going to cushion the text box around the existing text. Whereas with area type, your box is basically the size that it is, whether there's text filling it up or not. And then now that we've converted this one to point, it's going to behave like a point text box by changing the size of the text within it. Whereas this one that's now an area type box will behave like an area type box. So personally, I'm typically going to prefer the area type box because it's not going to skew the text at all. Uh, for instance, in this case, it made the font really skinny, which I would prefer it hadn't done. And I'm also working in specific areas a lot. So I much prefer uh, to kind of draw the box in the area that I need it to be, the shape that I need it to be. So I'm usually working in area type, but I find point type to be helpful for other reasons as well. Another thing that you might just not know, just a little side here, is that if you use the direct selection tool on a text box, especially an area type text box, you can actually change the shape of the text box. So if I did want to like put an element up in the corner here and I didn't want the text to touch it, I could use the direct selection tool to alter the shape of the text box and all of the text within it is going to adjust. And then one thing to note is that you can have a as much text as you want in an area type box, uh, but in a point type box, it's going to be different. So if I were to try and uh, convert this over to point type, I'm getting this message that there's overset text and it will be lost upon conversion to point type. So if I click yes, then anything that was listed after this at is just no longer in this box. I kind of lost that completely. So if you are converting, just make sure you pay attention to that. And you can also see when I converted it to point type, this shape of it changed as well, because you just have to have more of a squarish text box when you're using point type 
than with area type. I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to link the free Adobe Illustrator course for you in the description. If you want to get started using Adobe Illustrator for graphic design, it's not just for stationary designers, even though that is my personal focus. And if you are interested in stationary design, stick around because there's so many other videos on my channel that you'll absolutely love. Thanks everyone.